Yellowstone volcano unprecedented uplift has been caused by awesome huge magma explosions according to studies revelations it's a super volcano as we know on the northwest corner of Wyoming also overlapping into Montana and Idaho and is famous for its natural sites it appears to be hiding its secrets even deep inside the caldera and is continuing to rise for two consecutive years it continued in 2013 and 14. We know it has over 60% of the world's geysers and has over 10,000 hydrothermal areas. Scientists have come to believe that the phenomenal two-year lapse of ground deformation, 2013 and 14, in Yellowstone supervolcano, which became conspicuous in 2013 as a result of magma intrusions in the ground layers of the Norris Geyser Basin area. And that's where we have the steamboat geyser in the Norris Geyser Basin. The results of a relevant study published in the Journal of Geological Research Solid Earth in January have now been highlighted by Yellowstone Volcano Observatory in its weekly column, Caldera Chronicles. This magma uplift depicted by the study authors as volatile ascent and accumulation, that's what they call it, volatile ascent and accumulation, reached climax in 2013, then ended abruptly, as recorded by GPS radars that keep tabs on seismic activity, of course, in the area. They can tell how the uh, surface changes direction, either going north, south, east, west, and also inflating and deflating. The frequent eruptions of steamboat geysers since March 2018 are likely a surface manifestation of this ongoing process. This is what they wrote, and they added the hydrothermal explosion features stand out in the Norris Geyser Basin area so that the apparent shallow nature of the volatile accumulation, quote, implies an increased risk of hydrothermal explosions, end quote. Now, according to Dan Durazin, one of the study authors, the magma intrusion two decades ago must have prepared the ground for all the deformation recorded, attributing this to ongoing processes under Steamboat Geyser, which is the biggest geyser in the world. It's the tallest geyser. Modeling, he says, suggests that the 1996-2004 uplift was caused by an intrusion of magma about 8.7 miles underneath Norris. When magma intrudes the crust, it cools. It crystallizes and releases gases that had been dissolved in the melt. This is what the author started uh, explaining. And he also added that as gas escapes, it lowers pressure in the magma and the surface then subsides because the gas is no longer there. Further on, he remarks that lifting gases can become trapped under an impermeable layer of rock, causing a kind of rapid uplift, like what was seen in Norris Geyser, from, Norris Geyser Basin from late 2013 until a 4.9 magnitude earthquake the following year. There was another notable uplift from 2016 to 18, which suggests rising gases again happening locked underground again. That's why it's rising, but at a slightly slower depth shallower depth. But researchers hurried to put readers' minds at mind at rest, saying that uh, however stunning this is, it does not pose any threat to humanity. They said for the first time we've been able to track an entire episode of magma intrusion, the degassing and gas ascent to the near surface. And for those in the know, like you, that's awesome and it's not alarming. In other words, they're saying this is just regular activity of Yellowstone. This is on Sputnik News. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, 
and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.